What would you do if, change of pace now, if someone you cared about only had a very short amount of time to live? Well, in the case of actor Samuel Johnson, his gift to Sister Connie is truly remarkable. I sat down with a pair recently and their story is incredibly emotional. It's gripping, but it will also leave you feeling inspired and it's all because of a unicycle. I'm trying to, put, I'm trying to give Connie a reason to stay around for another year. And uh, I'm pretty, I'm hopeful um, that we'll, be, we'll both be there at the end. Pink shorts? The black yeah, on. go the pink, eh? Samuel Johnson is certainly a familiar face when it comes to acting. But the drama off screen has now hit home and hard. His sister Connie, who is just 35, and a mother of two, is dying of breast cancer. I said to her, what do you want your legacy to be? Um, thinking that she'd say, oh, let's go skydiving before I die. Um, and she said, I want every mum in the land to be breast aware uh, in the hope that we can, you know, save one kid from having to lose their mother. Um, and... Here we are. Yeah, we cooked up an inventive way to try and kind of get the word out there. Something unique. To raise awareness, Samuel wants to set a new Guinness World Record for the most distance travelled on a unicycle. The plan is to raise $1 million for research, but it won't be easy. The route will see Samuel travel right around Australia, clocking up 15,000 kilometres. Mate, where's the rest of the I'll, bike? I'll try, <laughs> it's gone, I told you, we lost it. It fell off. I can't believe you're doing on. it. It's just dawned on me what you're about to do. Connie, what does it mean to you what he's doing? Oh, um, I think it's really moving that anybody would um, would just stop everything to take on a project like this for any cause and for him to take up my cause um, so passionately. Um, I'm so proud of him. I'm so um, happy to be working with him. Samuel and Connie were born one year apart. They grew up all around Victoria, moving several times, and they've always been close. Connie has battled cancer three times in her life, at age 11, she overcame a rare and aggressive bone tumour in her leg. At 22, she fought a tumour in her womb. But this time is different. Connie has been told she has between six and 12 months to live. I just forget. I'm like, I don't look at her and I, she doesn't look like she's sick. No. Well, it helps that the chemo I'm on doesn't make your hair fall out. So my hair's grown back since the first chemo that I had for this cancer. It helps that you're beautiful as well. No. <laughs> Oh, Carl. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're a charmer. It's true, though. <laughs> Connie lives in Canberra with her husband and two boys. Her youngest, Hamilton, is five and just started school. Willoughby is six and in year one. So what do you want your kids to know about you? That I love them, pretty much. That I always will and that I'm not leaving them willingly. And Enough what, of that. <laughs> and, what, and what do you want them to know about She's Mum? making me cry. It's your She's making me cry. <laughs> it's your fault. I'm going to go as well. Um, <laughs> oh, God, I swore this wouldn't happen. <laughs> Sorry. It's heavy, it's heavy. You know? Well, you, you love got, it. You... What, but what do you want people to know? What do you want people to know? I want, um, I want every young mum in the land to... to to be breast aware, and I don't want them to fall into the booby trap, uh, which Connie fell into a little bit. Early diagnosis, early, early detection is the best protection against breast cancer, as it is with most diseases. Um, by the time mine was detected, it was too far gone. It was, it had really taken hold. Pull that, other, other, other foot. Yep, onto that one, and then just peg back. See what I'm doing now? It's See, yeah, about there. Thing. No, it's not that one at all. All right, we'll, oh, we'll do it at you. the same time. Ready? Yeah. One, two, three. <laughs> not bad. Not bad. <laughs> oh, hello. <laughs> you smell good. <laughs> this will inspire you, though, won't it? Oh, absolutely. Mm. Because he's always been a pain in the ass, and it's <laughs> it's fitting that he's going to have a massive pain in the ass. <laughs> Very spot, fitting. Spot, spot on, Carl. On Carl. <laughs> <laughs> All right, ready? Yeah. Okay, two revolutions. Too slow. Go quicker. Go quicker. There we go. There we go. Hey. You did it. 
1,500 k's to go. 15,000. 15,000. <laughs> Good luck, my man. Thanks, mate. For me, the visual is really, really clear. Um, I come home, I cross the line. Connie's waiting for me. Tears in her eyes. And we, we embrace, and she says, I'm so proud of you. We did it. And I look at her and I go, we did it. So that's the fantasy, mate. That's the, that's the visualisation. That's, that's what motivates me. I said keep on